Hey, good evening, guys. Denise with Lazy K Mountain Homestead. Well, I'm. This is going to be a pretty quick video um, because it's a it's a quick recipe, and what it is is crock pot caramel sauce. It's super easy. Everything is made in the crock pot, in the jars. You need some half pint jars because they'll fit in my crock pot, and it's going to basically water bath can these overnight. Um, the recipe says at least five and a half hours to overnight. I like to do it overnight just to make sure everything seals. Now, I've tried the recipe before, and I haven't had any issues with, with it not sealing. So this is going to be some gifts that I'm going to be giving away to my friends and neighbors and um, family because we all love caramel. And so let's get started. What you're going to need is, I've got, let me see, it would be six cans of sweetened condensed milk. These uh, are 14 ounces, and I'm going to just go ahead and put all of these in a bowl. Let's see here. Oh, let me use this little one. They'd be easier. We're just going to go ahead and put all of this sweetened condensed milk right in here. Let me see if I can get you guys to be able to see what I'm, there you go. You can see that better. Okay. Now, if you've never used sweet condensed milk before, it is pretty sticky. Hold on, I need to let one of my cats in. I guess I'm hearing things because there wasn't anybody at the front or back door. So, it could have been the little puppy. I've got her over in her kennel over there, so... She might have sounded like she was meowing. I don't know. So anyway, back to this. We're just going to put all these cans in here. I also have a jar. Uh, this is two. This would be equal to two cans because I had this left over. And I just put it in here. Now, if you do have it left over like I do and you've already mixed your vanilla and salt in here, you can just put it in the fridge and then pop it in the microwave, um, microwave, the crock pot tomorrow. I hope I haven't said microwave, I meant crock pot, after these are done. Because you're going to put it in here with uh, room temperature water, then turn it on high and let it go overnight, so it's not going to have any fear of break in the jars which is kind of nice okay here's the last one and I may have I've got eight of the half pints ready now if you want to go with bigger or smaller jars that's up to you but just make sure that the water will cover the uh, jars in your crock pot mine's kind of a long one there are taller ones so that would probably do well with these full pints. Okay, now to this we're going to go ahead and add four tablespoons of vanilla. This is um, basically going to be salted caramel. That's what it's called, salted caramel crock pot caramel sauce. And two teaspoons of salt. I'm just using regular salt. You can use um, kosher, and you can also use sea salt in here. I've used both, and they do really well. And they they do melt in this as it cooks overnight. And you just want to mix this up really well. I don't know if you've ever tried to make caramel with uh, sweetened condensed milk before, but if you're making like a caramel pie or something, all you have to do is take an unopened can and boil it. Um, I forget for how many minutes you boil it, uh, but you just boil that in. When you open it up, it's caramel, and it's so delicious. It's so wonderful. So this takes a little bit to mix all that vanilla in here, as you can see. I still have a little bit of that brown vanilla, and I want all of it to be nicely mixed in here. I'm waiting on my new Pampered Chef whisks. It was uh, one of my friends had a party, and uh, I ordered whisks and some new measuring cups. 
Okay, that looks really good. Let me go ahead and just put that over there. Now what we're going to do is we are going to move all this junk out of the way. I've got my lids ready, my lids and rings over here just like I'm canning. I've got my jars ready. They've all been washed. Um, they don't have to be warm. They just have to make sure they're washed and sterilized. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and fill each one of these jars and you want about a quarter inch headspace just like when we were made our Christmas jam. Now remember this is kind of sticky so try not to get it on the rims. It's a little bit easier to wipe off than jam because the jam is usually hot. I may have to add a little bit more to that one. Let me see here. Because you do want a quarter inch headspace. You don't want any less than that. And I have a little bit too much in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and take some of that out and we're just going to continue to fill all of these jars this is a really really nice gift to give and I'm gonna make little material tops for each one of these jars I'll do that at the end of the video because this will be overnight, so after it's finished, sorry about the puppy in the back. I hear you, Duchess. She's already been out, did her business, and it's kind of late. I thought I would get this video up. I haven't uh, felt too good today, but I wanted to get this going because, you know, we're only like a week or and a half from Thanksgiving, and it's time if you already haven't to start making your Christmas gifts especially your food Christmas gifts because you know once Thanksgiving's over Christmas will be here before you know it this year has just flown by and you can see it's just this color but when it cooks overnight in the crock pot, it will turn to a beautiful caramel color. And all of the, the uh, lids will be sealed onto your jars. So you don't have to worry about that. It's really a, a cool way to do that. So it looks like I'm probably gonna have eight, which is what I had, hopefully. Kind of making a mess right now. <laughs> I'm at my end here. All right, let's see. Got one last one to go. Okay, this is super sticky. I'm going to go ahead and scrape all this out because uh, it will give me eight half pints for this. The uh, recipe will be in the description box. We're pretty good and we used all of that so that's great I don't like to waste anything <laughs> so let me get my paper towel here wet it wipe all my rims here I have kind of made a little mess but that's okay I'm a messy cook I just mopped the floor this afternoon, so 
I probably have some dripping down there. That's all right. Onto my floor. That's all right. I was saying, that's the worst thing that's happened to me all day. I'm doing pretty good. Duchess, you're okay over there. Guys, I'm sorry. She is fine. She just wants to come out and be loved and hugged. Hold on one second. Okay, I went ahead and let her out so she wasn't over there crying. So now she's just around my feet. <laughs> Will also be home tomorrow. I'm so excited so he can see his little puppy. She's a mess. She is um, gathering up all the shoes. One shoe from every shoe pair she can find. And she puts them in a pile in the living room and just jumps right in there. It's so funny. Okay, here we are. Almost to the end. Yeah, let's just make sure I've got them all off these rims. Well, they all look good. Just double checking. Okay, so there we are with that. I've got all my lids and rings over here. And we are just going to put each one in. We're just going to hand tighten like we normally would with um, water bath canning or uh, pressure canning. Just hand tighten. All the, the lids and rings have been warmed up. They're not too warm right now, but because they've been sitting over here waiting for me to do this, but that's okay. Like I said, it's not hot. We're not doing hot to hot. It's just room temperature, everything. And I think I will be able to get all eight in here. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Hmm. All right. I wonder why that one didn't want to. Might be one of those new ones. Didn't want to tighten up. You want to make sure it's hand tight. There we go. All right, I'll be able to get all eight in here. That's awesome. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a little teeny bit of this water out just because I don't want it to overflow. But it will be just about an inch over these jars. Okay. Clean up my mess a little. And I'm going to put my lid on. And we are going to put this on high. And it's going to stay on high till tomorrow morning. So we'll be back tomorrow morning and I'll show you what it looks like and how great and easy this recipe is. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Well, good morning, everybody. It's the next day, and I've already taken out my caramel sauce from here. It went overnight, so about eight hours, and I went ahead and turned it off this morning, and I went, I had to go pick Willis up, and so the hour that I came back, it had pulled down to where I can pull it out, set it on there, and the, these are a little bit loose, not the not the lids, but the rings. So you want to tighten them because you're going to keep these on here. But look at the color. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, and it smells just like caramel. I did have one not seal, so I went ahead and just put that in the fridge. I don't know why. I haven't had that happen before, but... It might be these new lids and rings. I'm not sure. Or just blame it on operator error. But we have got six, whoops, seven, seven that did fine. And they've all pinged. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let these cool. And then I am going to come back in a little bit and show you what I do to kind of decorate these for gifts. And as, as well as my Christmas jam, 
Uh, so you guys can kind of see how festive it'll look when you want to give them for gifts. Be back in a minute. Okay, everybody. Um, what I did was I just left my caramel over there to cool, but this is some from last week that I made. And then I've also got all my Christmas jams over here. And I just wanted to show you what I do to make them a little bit more festive and pretty. So I um, am always having scraps because I'm a seamstress too. I love to sew and I'm a crafter. <laughs> And then I found this big piece of burlap, which I think was a table runner, um, at the thrift store. And I got this for like a dollar. And another piece came with it. So I have all those. So what I'm going to do, and you've probably seen this in the store, you have just a little piece of material. You put it right on top of this lid, and then you put your other lid down. And now, if you don't want to use this, you don't have to. You can just use your material and wrap that. It's up to you. Or you can just use it like this and not take your lid off, your ring off at all, like so. But you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna label it somehow, and I do have those labels over there. So what I do is I just cut myself out a little template, and I've got a ring. So this is the size of the ring. You're not gonna cut it the size of the ring, you're gonna make it bigger, at least two times bigger than what this ring circumference is. So I'm gonna just do that and I'm gonna eyeball it. So there we've got that. Cause you want it to hang down, oh, probably maybe a half inch or so. So you've got this piece right here and you want it to maybe come down that far. That's my, what I like anyway. So I'm just gonna kinda eyeball around that circle. I'm just gonna kinda cut right around that circle first and then I'll probably trim it a little bit more so see that's what we have so far so I'm going to just go ahead and go in probably a half inch and make this a little bit cleaner cut instead of just what I did but I was just trying to get the box off of there the square off of my circle if that makes sense okay and it doesn't have to be perfect. There's so many things in life. Everybody thinks everything's got to be perfect. Let me go ahead and just put my tripod up a teeny bit. There we go. All right. I think you can see everything I'm doing. <laughs> okay. So that's going to be my template. What I also have, in addition to my material, I've got some of this um, twine. I use this to uh, tie up my soaps and I just love the look of that. Also, I have some Merry Christmas ribbon. I try to pick this up at the end of the season so you can get it really reasonable. And then I also have some little teeny tiny pine cones. They're, this is from Hemlock. I'm not sure what that one's from, but look how tiny they are. If you want to decorate the top, if you don't, that's fine too. I've got some, just some little greenery things that I can uh, just hot glue on top of there, which I think would make it really pretty. Especially if you're kind of, you know, you want them for gifts or you're going to be selling them. You know, you want them to look uh, like something that somebody would say, oh, I really want that. So, you know, make it enticing, just not what's inside. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, and oh, and pinking shears. If you don't sure what pinking shears are, that's what I call them. They, they have, you know, um, like a, I guess you'd call that a rickrack type cut, but there's all kinds of them. If you've um, ever done any uh, scrapbooking, there's all kinds of scissors that make all kinds of different, um, edging designs. So what I'm going to do is take some of this burlap. Now you can uh, take your Sharpie and go ahead and trace your template here. That's what I'm doing. Oops. Oh, I have to go pull a pup, put a puppy into, <laughs> she's pulling my rug out of the kitchen. She's got to go in her kennel. Hold on one sec. Oh, uh, real life. <laughs> I haven't had a puppy in a long time. 
So this has been an experience for sure this last week, but fun. Okay, now I'm going to take my pinking shears and I'm just going to go ahead and cut around that circle that I made. Now I have seen people just cut a square because they like the look where there's corners. But, you know, just be creative. Whatever uh, design you like. It's a reflection of you, and that's what's most important. Okay. There we go. Now, on burlap, it really doesn't matter because it's such an open weave. But when I cut the material, you'll see that pinking sheer edge better. Okay. So, there's that. All right, you know what, I think I'm going to make it bigger because it's that's actually too small, but I'll be able to use that somewhere down the road. So, instead of using my template, oh, there they are. Everything's hiding from me. I'm going to go ahead and just cut a circle a little bit bigger than my template. Okay, there's my template, and it was uh, too small. So let's go ahead and make that. The bigger one probably would have been best. So I'm just going to go make a circle that I think will work around my template, and I'll be making a new template too. Okay. With this burlap, I noticed that it's kind of uh, unraveling, but I've used it before, and it's probably because I've made it too small. Now, if you have an edge on your burlap like I do, you're going to want to cut through that. Okay, so that's pretty big. Let's see what that does. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, now you can do it like this. Put that on there. And then just come back with your scissors. Or you can just go ahead and put that on there. Put this on here and just wrap it with your twine. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take quite a lot of this. Because I do want to make it into a bow. But I want to have a few, few of these wraps. All right, hold on, let me get my glue gun. All right, I got my glue gun. I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of glue right on top of that lid. Just to hold my burlap down. And I'm going to center it the best I can. Okay, just put that there. Okay. Now I'm going to take my twine that I cut, because it will be a lot easier to try to get this around it. Okay. Material is a whole lot easier than burlap. But I just love the look of burlap. I think it's so rustic and pretty. And I know it's really popular. When my daughter Holly got married a few years ago. We had burlap was in her in her um, wedding or reception area. So I thought that was really pretty. Okay. Now you can just wrap this as many times as you want to. I'm going to go ahead and just knot it so it doesn't unravel on me. But that is kind of what you're looking at. I'm going to go back and cut some of that off, but I'm also going to kind of go back around that. And I'm going to put a few little more wraps of that because I think that's pretty. Okay, and do it one more time so I can get where I'm going to tie it off. And I'll make a bow because I just think it's pretty. Okay, so let me cut that. 
And now I'm just going to go around my burlap and just trim it off to where I think it looks right. Just like a floppy hat that you're creating for your jelly and your little creations here in the kitchen. You can do this for anything. All right. Well, I think that looks really cute. There you go. I think that looks darling. Okay. So on this one, I'm going to go ahead and put a few of these little pine cones on here. Like so. With my glue gun. And I think I'm going to take a little bit of this greenery. It's just a little bit. I'm going to just cut a little bit off. Let's see where my other scissors go now. Here we go. Just to give it a, I mean, literally spruce it up, right? And there we go. Just a little teeny bit. I'm going to glue that down right on top there. And believe me, this will not inhibit the person from opening this jar. It'll be no problem. So we'll put that there. Go ahead and glue these little pine cones down. Like so. And then I think I'm going to take one of these little red and gold beads right here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and tuck that in there. Like so make it look a little more festive okay there you go now that jar is done all except for the label and you can label it however you want to i'm going to use the labels that came with these jars and just put on there what that is and this happens to be a uh, christmas jam but i think that is so pretty so that's that one set that one over here and then I'm going to come in here and just show you how to do this with just regular material. And I did cut, cut another template. Okay, let's see what we've got. This is some really pretty Christmas material that I made a Christmas skirt out. And you can see it's got ice skates on it. So let's go ahead and cut a template with that and see how that looks. And I think I'll do that in one of the... Um, One of the caramels, I think that would be pretty. Now you can go ahead and just uh, draw around here. Don't use black because you wouldn't be able to see that on here. So I'm going to use this red Sharpie. And when you're using your pinking shears, it'll cut away the, the Sharpie. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that. And I will probably have to trim this up again once I have it on the jar. That's okay. You want it to look nice. I like this material because it has a silver glitter and it's shiny and pretty and it was different. I actually got this at Walmart several years ago when Walmart used to have really nice material. I hate to say that they really did away with their material department. I don't know, 10 years ago where you could really find different kind of things. I go to Hobby Lobby and Joann's now for things like that and I've I actually had to order online so but I, I used to make my daughter's uh, dresses for their dances and the proms and used to be able to get velvet and silk and just all kinds of beautiful material and they don't carry that now it's uh, just basically cotton and I don't ever see anything like this okay so let's go ahead and take one of these caramels from last week going to go ahead and put that on there, the top. Okay. Just kind of centering it there the best I can, making sure it looks good. Okay, and then with this, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this Merry Christmas ribbon. Let's see if it'll work. It's not too big. Maybe it will be. It 
might be too big. We'll see. Oops. All right. I know a lot of uh, people when they do videos, they've already done all this and practiced it and stuff. But, you know, I like to do things in real time because... You know, it, we all make mistakes, and we all kind of have to go back to the drawing board and figure it out, so. And that's kind of what I'm doing here, so. I do that with my cooking as well, because, you know, I, I want everybody to realize that life isn't perfect every single time. We do make mistakes, and we have to kind of refigure out what we're doing. Okay, I don't know... See, I don't think I like that with that Merry Christmas on there. I'm just going to go ahead and use that, uh, that jute twine. So let's go ahead and get this. And there we go. If my uh, ribbon was a little bit thinner, I think it would probably work. There we go. I'm sure by the time I get to the tenth one, <laughs> I'll really be good at this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give a little more slack here before I make my, my knot because I want to be able to use that for a bow. Okay, and we can pull that out like so, so we can kind of be like that floppy hat look that I'm going for. All right. And I am again going to take this and I'm going to wrap it around a few times because I like that look. If you like just one wrap, that's fine too. Okay. So here we are back at that. Oops. Glue gun wants to fall on the ground. We don't want that to happen. I'll be so glad when I get my middle bedroom made up as my craft room and I won't have to do everything in the kitchen anymore. Okay, so there's that. Go ahead and do that one. Alrighty, so I think that looks really cute too. What do you guys think? I like that. Different, I mean you can use, I've got red and green and different colors. I thought that was pretty too. So, but anyway, um, I don't know if I feel like I need anything on top there because it's uh, kind of busy already, but I just think that's so cute. Now, if you don't want to put a label here, a sticky label, you can go ahead and make your own labels with uh, like brown paper, cut a little hole in it and just have it hanging on the side of what it is. I may do that too. But anyways, I hope you guys will try this and, uh, all of these jellies and jams and caramels for just little easy gifts to give for Christmas or any time. It doesn't have to be necessarily Christmas. You can have this would go anytime if somebody comes over. For me, that's just how I am. If somebody comes over, I like to give them something to sleep with. So y'all have a great day from Lazy K Mountain Homestead. And we'll be back real soon with more videos. Christmas is coming, y'all. So stay tuned. Bye.